Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talks. So today we're going to talk a little bit about just gold, nothing else but gold. Who knows that we may drop a couple other little things in here. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about money and how it relates to gold. Now, I got something here that I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. Um, and when I say money, I mean fiat cash. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a couple coins and I want you guys to get a good perception of the true value of gold and how it relates to stuff. And in order to do that, once I show you guys these two coins, then I'm going to show you some stuff that I got behind here. And you're going to probably be a little amazed at what happened. Now, the first coin that we're going to talk a little bit about is this 1881 $5 gold eagle or gold. Some people call them $5 libs. Um, a pretty cool coin. Now, I know right off the bat, there's going to be someone out there that says, oh, wow, that's an 1881. That's 140 year, one years old. Um, and it is. But that's not where the real value is. I mean, yes, that does add to the value. A coin like this, generally, um, you're going to pull easily 600 bucks, in my opinion especially right now. However, this is just a quarter ounce of gold, just a quarter of an ounce. And for those of you that don't know what a quarter of an ounce at spot price, we're not going to get into, for the sake of this argument or this debate, we're not going to talk about collectible um, issues. I want to talk about spot price for a minute. We know though spot price is the fixed gold price and even though that is a fixed gold price, which is right now roughly $1,750, you're not going to find it at $1,750. But for easy math, too, we're going to say $1,800. The reason I'm choosing $1,800, which is only $40 more since it's technically right now gold is sitting at $1,600. I'm sorry. Seventeen fifty-eight, roughly, so about forty-two dollars off. But when you factor at eighteen hundred dollars an ounce, uh, it's a nice, easy math number to work with. Eighteen hundred instead of getting into small numbers. Um, so, with that being said, when you take a quarter of an ounce or a quarter of that, you're talking roughly four hundred and fifty dollars. And you know, so four fifty and four fifty is nine. Nine and nine would be eighteen. Um, so with that being said, though, at one point, this was traded for five dollars, five bucks. And for those of you that don't really believe that people spent this for five dollars. But as gold continued to climb. We're going to take some money out for a minute, some fiat. And we're going to show a couple different things because, you know, when you see this. It really helps with the equation. And for good measure, we're going to add another half to it. So technically, 500 bucks, that would be 2000 So technically, we only really want uh, 450 So really, you're only going to have all that. Now, I could have separated this out, but I want to keep this because I am going to use these for an upcoming video. For those of you guys that collect notes, I have a lot of people ask me what I look for on notes. And I'm going to do uh, some short videos to teach people about web notes, um, different types of binary notes, web notes, um, consecutive notes, and birthday notes, and different stuff. I've done videos on it before, but they have been getting more popular lately because more and more people want to look through their bills, and they're hoping they're going to find some good stuff. So I'm going to be doing that in the future. Um, well, I'll be shooting that in the next day or two. Um, <clears throat> but what I want people to understand is people turned in for $5, five paper notes, people turned in their gold. And they thought at the time these were the same thing. $5 is not equal to, let's see if we can slide that out, to the, a coin like this. And I, I hear this time and time again that, well, it says $5 on it. Okay. Um, is it, am I buying a collectible? Is it because it's older? That's not the case. You're buying gold when you buy something like this. Um, so, I mean, right in saying that, 
This was $5. And now look at how much money it's going to give you. All of that pretty much. Um, and here's the thing. Now, when you factor in the age, you actually need, like I said, 600 bucks to buy it. So the uh, coins that are in gold and silver are continuing to go up more and more and more. And literally, I've looked on websites earlier today, and the cheapest that I can find this coin for is actually 600. Um, but some of that is because of the age on this coin. Um, it's a really old coin. Um, but I'm more for the sake of this video want to talk about the gold value. Now, this is not some people are like, well, that's a fluke or that's this. That's not a fluke. Um, I have another coin right here, and this one's even more interesting. Um, I wish this was a one ounce coin, but it's not, unfortunately. Um, this is a 50 peso. Now, for those of you that don't know pesos, um, at the time when this was out, this was 50 pesos, and 50 pesos was actually a lot of money back in the day. It was a good amount of money, but this coin right here is made out of 37.5 grams of aura or gold. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's a beautiful coin, as you can see. Uh, I wish it was exactly one ounce for the sake of this video, but it's not. And these were the two coins that I had got out of my safety deposit box when I went today. Um, and so needless to say, this was a 1927, as you can see right there, 1927. Um, it happened to be uh, some kind of significant date between 1821 and 1927. I don't know if that was their anniversary um, or what it was that they had made this up. It's a beautiful coin. It's a lot more than an ounce of gold because I've had a lot of people try to buy this off me and I didn't quite want to sell it yet. At some point I might sell it, um, but it is interesting. And what people don't realize is let's pretend for a minute this is one ounce of gold. 50 pesos. Well, 50 pesos, for those of you that live anywhere in Mexico or near Mexico, know that 50 pesos is not a lot of money. I mean, it's it's nothing. Um, I think it's an equivalent right now to about $2.50 uh, with a ratio of roughly 20 to 1 when you're talking a dollar. So 20 pesos equals $1. However, this coin right now, if it was a one ounce, which it's not, I don't have enough money even here to show you the value of what this coin is. Um, but for one ounce sake, we'll pretend that it is one ounce. You would need all of this money to equal this. Um, that really says something when you look at this. And I mean, yeah, there's only 1800 bucks here, um, which is roughly what you're going to pay for an ounce of gold right now. Um, and that's probably being a little more generous than um, it actually, I think it's a more with the premiums. You're actually going to pay even more than 1800 bucks. Um, but we're looking at spot price, like I said. So what I want people to take from this video is when you're buying gold, you're putting a lot of your wealth in a coin, a coin, literally. You look at this stack and you look at this. I could literally stand on the street corner with just this and this, and 90% of the people will take this. $1,000 versus this one coin, it's 50 pesos. Oh, it, it, that ain't worth that much in US dollars. Or they're going to say it's Mexican, so it's worth less than the dollar. Um, but I, I, people have got to really grasp when you look at this amount of money, uh, these are all just ones, but even in ones, I mean, if I had lined up hundreds out here, that still would be eye breaking to think that this much paper money could equal this. And here's the thing. It's only going to get worse. I believe as gold and silver continues to climb, you're going to see people taking huge stacks of this wheelbarrows full of this to get something like this. For those of you that don't believe me, take a look at history. Take a look at uh, Weimar Germany. Take a look at Venezuela. Take a look at Zimbabwe, Cyprus. Any of these countries that are going through major currency crisis right now. And you will understand that 
This is real wealth. This is what the people want. They would rather take their wheelbarrows of cash and get this than have the cash. Why? Because if they double the money supply, then essentially everything doubles in price. And if you've got an ounce of gold that's running 1800 and all of a sudden we instantly double the money supply, well, now that gold is going to be worth $3,600. And then you're going to need even more paper because what they're really doing when they print money is they're killing the paper. The fiat is worth less because there's more of it. Um, so I really want people to take that. I want people to understand that, that gold, it doesn't matter what kind, it's beautiful. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be an old coin like these two coins that I have sitting here. These are not your generic, these are not your bullion eagles. Um, these are just older, really older historical coins. So pretty cool. I want people to take that from it. I want people to see it and I want people to understand um, pretty much the value. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Help me out. Uh, we are trying to grow the channel. Tell your friends um, and keep stacking. Uh, it's only going to get essentially uh, harder and harder to buy this stuff. Uh, I'd rather buy it while it's cheap. And I know it seems like a lot and it is, but it's going to get a whole lot more in my personal opinion. So with that being said, I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.